Welcome, friends. This is uh, Dr. Jade Lee from New York, your cardiologist on Muni Meter Health, your source of cardiology, and uh, of course, you're also the source for uh, advancing uh, patient education and medical education together to improve the clinical outcomes. So, thank you again for associating with Muni Meter Health. Um, I personally appreciate uh, your helping me advance my belief uh, in the initiative that I have, which is now global to improve uh, the human heart awareness, uh, both in health as well as in illness. So thank you again for being here. Well, first things first, quickly, uh, number one, this is uh, a supplement and not a supplement and not a syllabus to the students. So just mind, be mindful for my medical uh, uh, choice here, students uh, who are preparing for the exams, the boards, etc. So remember, you know, please stick to your text, but at the same time, you can use this as a supplement information. Two, this is an educational tool only, and it's not a medical advice, so just be mindful of that. And three, if you're having an emergency, obviously you have to go to a hospital, consult your doctor immediately, and of course call for an ambulance. So without any further ado, I'd like to delve into the subject matter. Today the subject matter is, what is Bernoulli equation? Now, I don't know if some of you may have heard of it, as uh, or if you're taking the courses in physics or chemistry, but just to refresh in your memory, I know it's been a while, especially for colleagues like me who have been out of medical school only since yesterday. But the fact is that, you know, we do have uh, some basic uh, physics laws that need to be followed on our echo Doppler. So let's quickly understand what we do when we do in the echo labs. Okay, so here is your uh, quick uh, diagram of your echo. Here is an you know, apical view. I'm going to draw the hard reverse because obviously that's how it's uh, represented if you like. Now, this becomes obviously your uh, right atrium, and this is your uh, right ventricle here. The left ventricle is here, and the left atrium is here. So your aorta is somewhere here, and then the mitral valve leaflets are coming out here. So that becomes your outflow tract. These are your tricuspid valves. Okay, so, uh, you know, the um, obviously your pulmonary veins are here somewhere, and these are your uh, vena cavity, if you like. So now, having understood this aspect, one clearly sees that the mitral valve, if you needed to see uh, regurgitation, obviously, that'll appear more or less like in this fashion because the flow will be in this direction, right? Now, if you were to see the aortic stenosis, uh, obviously, the aortic stenosis will be up here because you know, the flow will be in this direction. So uh, one, of the, one of the principles of Bernoulli equation is the following. Like, if you have an aorta, and this is your aorta, and this becomes your aortic valve leaflets. Here's my favorite schematic. And assuming that this is your left ventricle, for instance, here we are the outflow tract, for instance. Now, this is the area that's being magnified, if you will, right in this uh, schematic. So this becomes your LV cavity, and this is your aorta, right? So now what is happening is you have a normal flow, which is a very, very laminar flow, if you will, and that's going in this direction then it encounters this stenotic aortic valve and then there's a little slowing uh, or a little maybe acceleration as well some slowing here initially but then some acceleration here and then you have all these uh, uh, turbulences on on the sides here and then the jet speeds up and this is where the speeding up occurs now because the speeding of the jet velocity the velocity is extremely high, and that is being utilized now to calculate the aortic valve because that is very proportional to what's going on with the with the with the stenotic valve. So the clear Bernoulli equation um, uh, definition is that it's four times the V2, which happens to be this velocity, and this is your V1, which is your um, laminar flow, and V2 is your jet velocity. So four V square minus uh, you should put a square here, and 4 times V1 square minus that gives you the delta P, or the pressure gradient across the valve. Now, assuming that V1 square is always less than 1 or equal to 1, you're simplified. Now, let's do the simplified. The simplified Bernoulli becomes uh, delta P is equal to 4 V square. How about that, right? So that's easy now. That's not too much of a math for a, for a medical student, the resident of a cardiologist. Okay, so 4V squared. So all you need to do is measure this velocity, and that is measured on the Doppler. So the Doppler will show, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, obviously the aortic jet, or if you're looking at or the mitral regurgitant jet, etc. So stenotic rate will appear. And the cutoff for aortic stenosis, just remember, 
for the cutoff for aortic stenosis is normal velocity should be about 20 25 millimeters uh, pressure gradient but the fact is that if it is more than 3.5 meters remember that 3.5 meters per second if you compute that into this v square what that what happens the delta p becomes almost close to 50 millimeters uh, mercury so remember delta p is always in millimeters per mercury because the pressures are always in millimeters per uh, mercury whereas the velocity is in meters per second so 3.5 is your cutoff and anything over 3.5 on the aortic valve jet velocity jet if you will more than 3.5 meters tells you that this is 50 millimeters and it's abnormal or, or significant rather this is considered as severe as and therefore you must refer this patient for surgery okay because this will be definitely on the boards you need to know what the velocity is you need to know what the uh, uh, immediately compute the Bernoulli equation and the chances are you'll get your answers right as soon as you send this patient for surgery why because if the velocity is more than 50 millimeters that was the question was that should or should you not send this patient for surgery so 50 millimeters and above anybody will require a relief of that aortic valve and the only way you can relieve a severely stenotic aortic valve is by either valvuloplasty or by surgery okay all right so that is a quick Bernoulli equation uh, video vignette here for you guys and I'll be doing more short such stuff for you guys so this way you get a quick grasp and before you take your you know tutorials and your rounds or your boards exams etc etc all right but be sure that stick to your text always medical students all right and of course this is a supplement to you thank you for watching when you made your health so long doctor